Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Tshabomwe and this is Life with Tshabomwe. Okay, um, I hope everyone is doing great. If you're watching this video and you have a little bit of a hiccup in life, you'll be fine hanging there, darling, okay? Yes, we've all hit rock bottom. I've done a video talking about that. You'll be fine, okay? Those are small, small things. As long as you're not going to die, okay? You'll be fine. You will overcome. You will breathe, okay? Now, of course, in this video, we are going to be talking about being able to read the room in relationships okay um and uh, that way you uh, you find yourself avoiding forcing things in the relationship and we are going to go ahead and dive into why it is not good to force things okay and why it is important for you to be able to read the room when it comes to the to a relationship to the connections you have with people friends it could be your man but in this specific video i'm going to be talking about relationship wise okay again for those of you who are new here most of the things i speak on i speak on from personal experience okay um so i do understand and respect that people perceive things differently or receive things differently in this life so if you come and watch a video and there's something you don't agree on i respect that okay because i do believe we all have different ways of approaching life of receiving life okay yes again i would like to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel the views are improving not for all the videos of course but for specific videos which i'm still grateful for okay i'm glad that at least we are slowly growing and organically okay i don't want to rush anything i want the people who at least come to find my content they end up subscribing and staying because they like the content or be, not because i've been overhyped somewhere else things like that but tiktok sweet babies if you're watching this and you're from tiktok okay um definitely uh before we go ahead and get into the video i want to remind you guys that the clearance sale for my perfume is still on so guys are uh, update i'm back in therapy so yeah buy my perfume because i need to pay for therapy <laughs> You know, and if you're watching this, you might need therapy. Go to therapy, my friend, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the video, right? All right, so, so we are going to be taking a dive into being able to read the room, okay? Don't be too delusional when it comes to relationships. Don't put on your rose-colored glasses on, okay? Um, and for those of you watching this, I want you to understand that uh, when it comes to a point of you decide of or um, I'm going to read the room and take a step back Be ready to watch this partner this man this woman you've stepped away from do things you begged for For this other person. So be ready to make peace with that Why should you be ready to make to make peace with that because? Um, it is what it is Okay, it is what it is people um, I have come to learn that people we should be able to enjoy people while we are still with them but when we let them go we should also let them go comfortably and respect the fact that maybe to them they were not, we were not worthy and yes and uh, sometimes partners uh, women we hold back certain things for men we feel like they are not worthy I've done it okay so be ready to watch a person give what you begged for what you cried for to another person yes because once you read the room and step back and once we get into this topic you will realize why i'm encouraging that and why i'm starting with this okay now when you're able to read the room in a relationship okay reading the room is look at how your partner is acting how are you uh, what pass, uh, how how is he prioritizing you okay things like that because personally i was in a situation where where this man was like oh my god i'm struggling and i'm like oh my god i'm understanding as actually very sad about it not sad as actually anxious for him because i didn't like the fact that he was anxious about that but this man was going above and beyond 
uh, making time, making flights for everyone else, but me, when he would tell me some, a whole different thing. What was my problem? My problem was I was failing to read the room. I was failing to look at this man like, this man, yes, might want me around. The sex might be good. We might know each other, but he doesn't really, really, you know, want me like that. So learn to read the room. When you read the room, you, you avoid forcing things. You avoid forcing things because people sometimes have an issue communicating. A lot of us are not capable of sitting down and communicating what the problem is. So we resort to passive aggressiveness, okay? For those of you that are in abusive relationships, it gets to that. It's to, sometimes it can be as something as simple as silent treatment. This is someone showing you, I am tired of you, but I really don't know how to get rid of you. I don't know how to handle or go about this. So it is up to you as the person to be able to read the room, read the situation, okay? Uh, we, we, are all, we are always talking about actions speak louder than words. Hey, my friend, can you open your eyes and look at this person's actions? Yes, you see a lot of us like to live in denial and we think like, oh my God, maybe I have to be understanding because of this situation. But me, I've had even someone lie to me about their situation. And come to think of it, it was like, dude just wanted to, was like, I'm tired. I, we had the fun. I just don't know how to get rid of you. So you learn to read the room and subtract yourself. Make it easy. Because once you stay and force things, you end up looking like a clown, okay? Yes, speaking of clowns, I hope I don't look like a clown with red lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> I rebuke it, okay? Anyway, let us normalize being able to walk away from things, okay? Without any guilt and with respect to the other person, all right? Hey. So, and, and a lot of us are stuck in situations and in, and in relationships where we question ourselves. I was in that type of situation of you have to question your place in someone's life because their actions don't match, their words and you're refusing to read the room. Now, the problem with when you refuse to read the room and when you, because uh, once you, immediately, when you fail to read the room, you force things because the other person is done with it and not in. So you are forcing it. When you force this, you trigger someone to actually start being bad to you. I'm going to switch to Luganda, okay? Yeah, of a person has showed you, you don't make me happy. I don't really like communicating with you. If I'm communicating with you, it's about sex or something, or money or things like that. Of I really don't care. Of I would rather go and spend time with someone else than with you. That should tell you. But when you refuse to read the room, you trigger this person to actually get more passive aggressive. Okay, that is why you find there are relationships where someone is tired of someone, it starts with the silent treatment, then it goes to financial abuse. Some of you are in those situations, it goes to emotional abuse, then that final one it goes to physical abuse. That is someone telling you, I am done, I'm tired of you. They just don't know how to tell you, yes. So stop living in denial, stop forcing things. Especially when a person continuously shows you where you are and what you are to them. Okay? Yes. And a lot of you need to understand that someone can love you but they cannot be in love with you. Yes. I've been in love with a man but the homeboy was not about it. You understand me? So a lot of you, and, and I'm saying this not to be like or Ebichi, but a lot of you are uh, uh, Uganda for the Ugandans watching because most of you are Ugandans. That is why a lot of you are Gamba. Why? People see how this man treats you. People see that you're really not that important to this man. You're the one always chasing this man. You're the one always calling, checking in. You're the one who is always worried. 
people are going to automatically say, Om Sajjo Mwesima Ko. Direct translation, you're tying yourself on this man, on this person, when they have continually, continuously showed you through their actions of they do not want you, but you continue to insist, to pursue, to stay. So you're going to trigger them, okay? So avoid avoid all that avoid all that drama all that kasasiro when someone starts to show you anus okay uh i'm a mnyankole by the way for those of you that don't know well we have a saying that says okay they are capable of another time okay basically it means when someone shows you their unus once someone is capable of showing you their unus twice thrice personally i've allowed a man to do that to me you know someone shows you an anus one two three times and because they know you're going to take it and when the more you continue to fail to read the room the more you give this person the audacity to get more disrespectful the more the disrespect and the more he loses respect for you sometimes simply read the room accept that this person it's no longer as it was and you allow allow my guy don't embarrass yourselves on these streets making yourself look stupid and crazy yes so so if you're watching this please learn to read your room in your relationships it's going to help you it might be heartbreaking and i know a lot of you are going to be like oh i can't live because of these reasons i love this man let me tell you i was in love with this man okay personally i am so quick to detach but this one man has been a problem and was a problem to detach from why he knew yes because when someone is tired of you but they know you like them, some of these people actually are going to play it and they use it to rub their ego. You can't blame them because you've given away your power. You understand me? Yes. So stop using this, Simanya, you love him, but does he love you? Do the actions that he shows you show that he is reciprocating that? You know, a lot of us, um, even personally, at one point I was like, I wish the way I feel about this man would change him and help him see what I see in him or, or see what I see in him in me, okay? And I know a lot of you might feel like that. That is why you are failing to read the situation and accept that this person is tired of you or it's not what you think or you hoped it would be. And it is disappointing to make peace with the loss, with the... It is. It is. I've, been, I've gone through it. It's painful, but you have to be able to. Otherwise, you're going to waste time. You're going to turn this person who wasn't really bad. You will turn them into a bad person. They'll start to disrespect you. They'll start to literally ignore you or show you of you don't exist. It's you who has to look for me. You lose your respect as a human okay yes and it could be a financial thing because those uh, a lot of us women get into situations for the financial thing but you need to understand that alone if a man knows that's why you're with him and he believes because a lot of men believe that is and why do a lot of men believe that you're there for the money it's because he is a broken man and he believes the only thing he can offer as a man is money Yes, I was in a situation like that of homeboy thought the only thing he could really offer me as a man was money. But to me, I saw a lot. That's why I was in love with him. And that is bullshit, okay? Wake up, smell the coffee, sweetheart. Read the room. Actions are going to show you what a person thinks of you, where he wants you, the type of future he wants with you, he or she okay mind you this goes for both genders but i'm speaking from personal experience so i'm going to be talking of the other gender like this all right yes but don't play yourself read the room okay yes read the room don't turn a person into a monster when they're actually good people you could say yeah 
Some of these people are usually very nice people. But the fact that you're refusing to read the signs that he is tired of you, you turn him into a monster, you turn him into a bad person, you turn you, be, you make him dismissive, you turn him cold. Yes. Me, I had a, I had a man who, I, who would go hot and cold, hot and cold. That should have been a sign for me to read the room and know this person doesn't want me like that. You know, so be able to read the room. Don't waste your time. You will not break your heart. Okay? So I just wanted us to talk about this because I see a lot of you stuck in situations because you're failing to read the room of everyone can see it that this person is tired of. You, honey, okay, but you're insisting. You're insisting, you're playing dumb, you're living in denial and making yourself look crazy and stupid, okay? So please don't. And for those of you who are watching this video, um, I hear a lot of people saying, I'm afraid to leave this relationship because I don't know how to start, I don't know how to go back out there and date other people. This was me, okay? This was me. But then I was like, you know what? This person has shown me and us not once, not twice, not thrice, okay? So what's the worst that could happen, okay? A lot of you need to understand you are more than the relationships you are in. Yes, you see, especially for women, the men uh, usually are quick to play it like, oh my God, this is the best you'll ever have. And personally, I also thought like that, but go out there, you'll be surprised. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be pretty, but go out there, you might surprise yourself, have a little fun, don't tie yourself to someone who has shown you they don't want you, they don't see a future with you, they are not talking you anywhere, they don't respect you. You can even lose your entire self-respect for this person, I have done it. But it's not going to change the fact that they don't want you like that. And they're not taking you anywhere, darling, okay? Yes. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to make use of my clearance cell. Get yourself a bottle of my perfume. Escape the ordinary. As I've said, I, I'm back in therapy, so... Hey! So, bye from my business. I need to stay sane, okay? <laughs> Yes, we have to laugh together, you know, and I love that I, I, wa I want to talk about my therapy so I can encourage a lot of you to actually know that therapy is nothing to be ashamed of, okay? Go to therapy. Sometimes there are things you, 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 you need a little help with to process, okay? And it's that time for me, okay? So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Bye!